Hello, 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 and welcome back to Sleepy Scientist Plays Rome Total War. As we left off, I had just taken Syracuse, and I had quit the campaign without saving, but I spent two minutes just getting it back up to the speed that I think it was at, and I think back to that kind of that same level. Um, obviously, this army here has been quite wounded, but I still want to see if I can take this soon. So I'm going to try to, as best I can, bring as many of these guys over, land them here, and meet them up with um, as many kind of full strength soldiers from this army as possible. Um, how successful that is, I do not know. And apparently there's rebels here. That's not so good. They only have peasants though, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem. But Maybe those will be my first targets. I'm not 100% sure what I should do here, but I'm going to be taking Lilybaum soon. And then after that, maybe I was thinking about taking this, but it seems like the Julii are doing so. That's a bit aggressive. I don't like that very much. But, I mean, they're free to do it. I have no control over them. Um, I gotta end this turn, though. Uh, oh, I need to speed up the movement again. This is slightly annoying. Yep, yeah, okay. So I still am going to need to kill those rebels there. Construction report, sewers, land clearance, shrine to Neptune. So yes, I am going to take as many of these guys as I can. I'm going to take about three of them. Yeah, I know you guys aren't going to be very happy about that. Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of that, build another soldier there. Um, you, I'm going to try to be able to, yeah, start giving you the ability, actually, Palisade, ugh, which one? Give them the ability to create soldiers, and obviously repair soldiers, or build the wall. I'll build the wall there. These guys are very unhappy. Still very unhappy. I built you a temple and everything. What's unrest? It's because of the. It's gonna be because of these. These guys here. Oof. But I'm gonna start building this so I can repair the um, the soldiers that I have within here. Um, yeah, these guys need to be killed. Um, I'm going to merge, this might be really stupid, but I'm going to merge these. You can stay behind, but which one of you guys has the best management? None of you? Okay, well you're going to stay here then, because you don't have any fighting ability either. Let's see if this will prompt a rebellion or anything. Public order plus 15%, Ugh. Yuck. Engage the enemy. I'm still going to try to kill these. Do I have enough time to get back there? Maybe. There's going to be rebellions in that city. Guarantee it. At least until I kind of get it under control. But I want these rebels gone. Um, this battle should be fairly quick, and I probably should have just auto-resolved auto it, but I tend to lose a lot more soldiers that way. The computer seems to always judge my skills to be worse off than they are. And here's hoping. The omens have been better, but I what do you mean? Those it's an army full of peasants. They're <laughs> holy men, not warriors. And a warrior makes his own fate. Do not fear these rebel slaves. They are only slaves. And will die as easily as cattle. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now, with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand! So, let your battle cry be, victory! Victory and glory to Rome! I mean, the first part of that, not so inspiring, but the later part of that wasn't too bad, I guess. Oof, gonna be... Wow, are we fighting on, like, the edge of a mountain here? Holy crap. Is that... It's over there. I don't know. It's the edge of a mountain here. That's kind of. It's a little scary. I'm gonna say that. Um, 
kind of do the same thing that I did in the last thing, though with less. One, fire at will, guard mode, start this off. Where are they? They're... <laughs> the heck? They're at the top of this gigantic cliff. What the... what in the world? I guess that's smart for them, but... What in the world? It's like vertical, fighting like 180 degrees straight up. That can't be fun. Need a better look at their army. I think it is majority peasants, but I think they do have some other groups there. I think that that big one back there is cavalry, but I am not so sure. Let's try to put this on a kind of equal playing field. Oops, keep doing that. Keep, it's, it's, my tilde and my number one are close together, and since I've grouped these guys, one, two, and three, every time I click one, sometimes I click that tilde or whatever it is and get up the uh, command shell, which I do not know any cheats for, so I won't be cheating anyways. Um, I'm going to speed it up just because this is slow as molasses getting up here. Fresh, fresh. It's good because I'm not, I'm not charging. Oh, they're tired. Yeah. See, this is like they're marching up this vertical cliff. Of course, they're gonna get tired. And I'm only, I haven't been able to do much, anyways. They just keep running away. They're just gonna, they're just, come fight me like a man. What the heck is this? Stop running away, you peasants. I haven't gotten any closer. Kind of evened out the terrain though. But my guys, yeah, they're getting exhausted. This is, ugh. These peasants, they know what they're doing. They're smarter than I gave them credit for. I'm just gonna keep chasing them. I don't know if they regain their kind of their stamina, right? Because these are guys exhausted. If I sit them still and let them kind of relax, will they? Like, what the heck is this? Every time I get close enough, they just run away. I guess I'm gonna have to be more aggressive, or are they attacking me now? I think they're attacking me now, so I'm gonna actually. Yeah. Um, you guys. Okay, need to pause this. You guys need to move here and run. Okay, I'm going to try to organize this a little bit better because these I can't let these skirmishers kind of get bogged down here. You guys can go behind here. But both of you need to run. I know you guys are exhausted. This is a, f a craziest battle I've ever been a part of. On the side of a cliff, a hundred miles in the air. See, they're backing away again. Like, what is this? I'm gonna try to brute a couple of them. Charge down the hill at like 100 miles per hour. Like, if this was the real world, these horses would be tripping and falling. But like, look at this angle. Like, what the heck? <laughs> this might be a real big mistake because I'm going to get my cavalry bogged down. But hopefully these peasants will break, like, instantly. Yeah, see, these peasants are breaking out almost instantly. As long as that keeps going. As long as that kind of keeps going, I'm, then I'm going to charge their generals up here. Pull out!
you guys need to really like what is this what's going off here okay maybe you guys shouldn't charge up of a cliff like that I'm go actually gonna pull you back here As long as my general kind of is able to kill Yes, there we go. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. Guys still exhausted? Very tired, very tired. Yeah, so Yeah, just kinda relax, get back into position. I'll try to pepper them from behind with we killed their general the too, general so. Is dead. His men know their doom approaches. I'm gonna charge these guys. Hopefully, that'll get them to break again. They're just skirmishers. But, like, look at this. <laughs> I guess they chose the best kind of spot for them, but. Best kind of spot for themselves, but didn't seem very effective. Okay, and since it's rebels, even if I even if I end the battle now, I don't have to chase them down because they're rebels. They'll just be destroyed anyways. So they killed two, two, and I think that was a couple horsemen from each. That was that fight, even though it was on the side of a mountain, didn't go very well for the uh, the rebels. And can you guys make it back? But no, but can you guys? No. So we're gonna have some rebellions here. Ooh. Yeah, that's not so good. Um, can you guys build some town watch or something? <laughs> Just to try to keep the anger down a little bit. And yeah, you guys are building a style, yeah, but you're not building anything else. Um, build some wo wooden walls. Obviously that adds to the protection level a bit. And even though there's nothing really here, I'm in the center of Italy. Eventually, I'm going to have to be fighting the rest of the Romans, so having this is kind of the most well-defended city is actually quite good. But with that kind of rebel defeat, I'm going to end this turn now. Hopefully, the rest of the uh, kind of turn goes out the same way. Riding, yeah, citizens, soldiers killed 14. Oof. Yeah, let's see, yeah, the rebellion is... Not the uh, not the greatest here. I'm gonna build another town watch. Try to keep the, the the public order getting as high as possible, but never. It's gonna be hard. End of turn report. Yeah, that's good. Send it off as assigned. We didn't get anything. Well, study eye and town watch. That's pretty good. Yeah. So nothing really all that pertinent. Um, I'm gonna drop the ship. Actually, put it here, and then the army here. I'm gonna get them to join this this army here, and then I'm gonna begin my march towards the side of the the island here. Um, I'm gonna to continue to build town watch here. Hopefully, keep up the the, the populace, and I'm gonna build a couple more ships to add to my navy, or not keep up the populace, but kind of keep down this kind of rebellion here. Um, you continue building a study eye, continue building the walls, make sure everything's building something. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, again, another quick turn. <coughs> Sorry for that, just had a sneeze. Um, another quick turn, hopefully, keeps going like that. Nothing worse than a turn that just keeps going, 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 because you've got 17 different fights to go. Building damage, shrine to Neptune. Oh, so many soldiers just dying here. But we're out of the red. We're back into the blue here. Um, just keep repairing these buildings as best you can. Um, you, you finished the walls, right? Have you? Um, what next? 
Yes, I'm gonna do that. It's kind of like a free... It's like a free temple and a free blacksmith. It's actually, like, really good. Um, yes, you are going to cross into enemy territory, and we are going to try to take this city next. Um, so what does you do? How much... That should be enough, right? This army here. Got plenty of Histadii. And... They've just got skirmishers. Like, I think this entire thing is... Skir okay, they've got Iberian infantry, but mostly sk skirmishers. So, as long as I have enough cavalry to deal with that, I don't see the problem here. Though, the issue is I have literally no cavalry. Um, Governor's Palace, of course. Every time that's available, I always upgrade that. Um, there's re rebels in Rome, but since they didn't give me any council positions, I'm not going to deal with that. Um, then to turn reports, losing a little bit of money, but it doesn't really matter. Town grows, Capua, construction report, wooden walls have been finished, recruitment report, study I by Reem, town watch, war declared, Thrace and Dacia. Two people I haven't met yet, so it doesn't really matter. I normally don't deal with those people anyways. They are quite far away from the Roman Empire. I think they're, like, up here. And especially as the Scipii, I'm not going to be dealing with them. I'm going to mostly be dealing with the African nations and maybe Spain if I can work it. Um, seems like Julia did take Sardinia. I think that's Sardinia, but they haven't taken any of these yet. And that might be another target for me too. It's kind of the uh, the Greek islands. Um, I'm just going to continue with this. Um, I might end the episode before this battle starts. Who knows? Um, but as it is, keep keep going turn by turn here. Brute are doing okay, it seems, in kind of Greece. As long as they don't get too powerful, it, sh it should be okay. Mm -hmm. End of turn report. Losing money, but gaining money at the same time. Coming of age, Flavius Scipii. And he's... Okay, he doesn't seem very good, honestly. Fluent speaker... Rather lazy, confident commander. Man has leering manner, does not disguise the. So, yeah. Despises Carthaginians. Okay, I guess. But he, this is. Yeah, he's probably just gonna be. Maybe a third or fourth general. Nothing very powerful. Uh, Syracuse, shrine to Neptune. Sweet. Recruitment reports. That's good. Diplomatic information. Not very important. Um, now that we have this, I can finally re retrain that, recruit another Hestadii, and I'm going to build a temple to Neptune. Um, what are the upgrades, like the temple to Neptune? Public order 10%. Doesn't. I guess it's probably like a priest or something. That if I have my navy there, I, I get some bonus or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on that, but whatever. Um, I'm going to begin this siege here. How many of these can I build? Two, sorry, three, that's good enough. Uh, war, yeah. I'm gonna try to get this island as kind of sippy as possible. Um, you haven't completed that yet either, so I'm just gonna, oops, get you to build another ship here. Uh, you're still building a temple, that's fine. Can you get the very high taxation yet? No. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. Um, I have a little bit of time left. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Watching these guys slowly move across the map. wonder what's going on over there. Greeks are pulling back. Fight the broody eye, I guess. End of turn report. Minus almost 2,000 gold. Temple of Vulcan. Recruitment report. That's good. Alliance of Sp uh, Spain and Carthage. Uh oh. So Spanish are going to be called in the war. Ultimately, that doesn't matter. The Greeks. What are you doing, Julia? You're. you're <laughs> Dang. They're taking my islands. The islands that I wanted. I guess that's kind of their imperative. But I wanted those. I th thought that Julia normally fought against the Gaul. The Gauls. But <laughs> whatever. I am still doing probably on par with the broody eye with three territories um yeah okay low tax rate i can actually up that a bit but i'm not going to do that right now you're going to retrain all of these 
Um, and let's build the sewers here. You were building the governor's palace, so nothing really, but I'm going to get you to just train another, train another Histadii. Uh, you're going to train another Histadii as well. And you're going to continu continue the siege. Um, I'm actually going to transfer one of you guys over here and try to get you one over there. Add to this army a little bit. Make me feel a little bit safer with dealing with these guys. Whew. Okay, but other than that, seems pretty good. Gonna continue another turn. As long as it's not a, like, another, as long as it's not another battle fighting 100 in a, at 100 degrees. Uh, suitable husband, good defender, but age 19. I'm sure you'll get better. And as long as he's nearby, where is he? He's in Capua. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, as long as he's nearby, I can bring him to the front lines, but he is not. I'm going to, though I am gonna pick him up. Kind of bring him to the front lines, maybe make him a governor. I'm sure he'll be quite happy with that. Um, recruitment report, study, study, study. Got a ship. All these were trained. It's good. You can join this army here. Uh, Macedon and Greek cities, kind of expected that, that normally happens. Quintus Genesis in Placidia. As it is, though, this guy is our best general at five stars and has got a lot of traits that he's a poor trader, so he, like, I'm just gonna keep him as a general. He's not very good at managing a city. None of my people are, it looks like. So, as long as they've got some people. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're still building sewers, so that's fine. You guys can build Temple of Vulcan. Da, 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 da. Can I increase your taxes quite yet? High tax rate, very high tax rate. That's that. Plus 100%. Ugh, I'll wait. I'll wait. Um, you are not building anything. Um, do we still have the culture? Yeah, like... Squalor too. So what can I do to kind of up the trader? Maybe that will get them happier? I don't know. Maybe it'll give them, through the virtues of capitalism, give them more items, or give them more things to um, to purchase. See, this is... Yeah, they're bringing reinforcements here. Should I... There's a 30% chance the mail is opening the gates of attack. Hold up for another two turns. Yeah, I'm going to Sir, attack this before there the before there were reinforcements can get there. 774 men, army strength ratio. Yeah, definitely gonna fight this. For the, like the reinforcements might just be enough to turn the tide. It was only two units, and I think a horseman and a town militia, so obviously not the greatest, but it's still kind of scary enough. Whereas I I don't really want to deal with them. But this city doesn't Very look too dangerous. Brave men and worthy foes. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? I mean, they at least They're have friends. Among nations? This army is fully one quarter of all our warriors. Imagine better than one half. Enemies, so, <laughs> doing a little bit better than the last forward. fight. Our people expect great things of us. And we are the men to do great things. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We have a slight advantage in numbers, but no lives can be thrown away today. We cannot afford such profligacy. Profligacy. The enemy will try to conserve their word. strength by firing at us. We must close and fight them hand to hand, like true men. Well, yeah, because half their army is skirmishers. I forgot about that. Before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. So I wanted more cavalry. Now Dang. I say, this far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past, few ever got to boast of their success. Someone on Skype just messaged me. But hope. Sorry about that. The gods have surely smiled upon us. 
The omens are so numerous and so in our favor that I cannot describe them all and still have time for a battle today. And at the last, brave Romans, I say this. Strength and honor to you all! Yep. So the last time you said you don't listen to the religious men, so I don't quite understand your... Uh... Your insistence that they it means something now. Um, okay, you guys. Or sorry, three here. Um, I wonder. I need to kind of see where they set up. Yeah, they're going to prevent me as much as possible from getting in here easily. Um, but as it is, you can take here. You smash here, and we'll get you smash here. The rest of you guys move a bit closer here. Try to stay away from the little uh, sniper portion, portions, the little towers that can shoot. And my archers and velites, you guys can get here. And you guys here. See, you've got to watch out for these things. They don't do a lot of damage, especially with these kind of wooden walls, but they do enough where one or two people might die and it demoralizes it a little bit. They have some family members here but mostly just skirmishers which shouldn't shouldn't be too hard to handle at least i'm going to speed this up it's a slow walk towards the um the wall here so no no sense i'm just kind of waiting uh, though i am going to move my troops a bit closer here see these guys are taking damage from that which is not the greatest. Our, our soldiers are at the walls. Yeah, these guys we lost about eight, eight troops there. Actually, we're gonna need to charge through like really quickly, so actually. Infantry. So this is the one kind of <laughs> infantry unit they have. So immediately, yeah. The enemy gate is down. Our battering okay. ram has done its work. You guys immediately need to sprint through and attack there. You guys need to move closer. You guys are going to move closer eventually. You guys move them up here. Move them up here. You guys... Yeah, see, this is why I need the, the these walls broken here. I need to be able to kind of fight these guys from both sides. Get through the walls quickly! 84, 84, 84. Surrounding these guys from both sides will be devastating, but we need to get in through this gate here, which is always the toughest part. These men are doing well. Thank Show God. No okay. The enemy walls are down. Thank God. Sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Okay, so you guys, you guys need to charge in. You guys need to charge in. You guys need to charge in. You guys need to circle around here. Charge in. Move closer over here. You guys need to fight. Okay, you guys need to... Oh, this is kind of epic, and I'm sorry I'm not talking very much, but it's kind of 
I'm not quite sure what they're doing sending their cavalry out of the city walls here, and that's kind of a stupid idea in the AI, but they have broken one of my uh, troops. I have to make sure that... The rest of my men don't kind of fall into the same trap here. Our soldiers have captured the walls! This is very good. Time to press on and, capture this place. and their general's dead as well. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. This is a crushing defeat right here. Just now we have access to the city, and I don't know how how well they're going to be able to defend it. Though the the way to the city's kind of strange here. Um, I'm going to get as many as I can into the walls. First things first, get them inside, and I'll figure out their, their way forward after this. Come on, you can fit here, you can fit, whatever, fit there then. And you guys need to get inside as well. Speed this up. This is going to be another long episode, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, we've got... <laughs> See, they run, get close, run away. Um, okay, now that most of my troops are inside, I'm probably going to try to whittle them down as much as possible, but they just keep running back and forth, so... Not quite sure how we're going to do this. Um, as it is, you guys need to move up here. You guys need to move here, and you guys need to move like here. Are these the, the skirmishers? Yeah. But, <laughs> see, they just keep running away almost instantly, right? So... Actually, I'm just gonna charge. Like, I don't think there's any kind of chance to lose this, so I'm just gonna charge them. Keep, just keep fighting. You guys as well. Just keep fighting here. It's skirmishers versus the actual infantry. Hopefully... Just... Come and mop them up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, clear victory. Yeah, probably didn't need to do that kind of micromanaging in that little tunnel there, but I don't like the way this city was all laid out. Like, there's no real way to get to the center here. But look, 488 to 112. Yeah, easy victory. Completely decimated their entire force there. Um, and that gives us Sicily. As long as I get one city per episode, this is not going to be that, that long of a series, I'm guessing. Occupy. Senate mission successful. A Byream, thank you. That's all I needed. A, a Byream. Um, just going to keep kind of upgrading and building you guys. Kind of. As, if these guys land, that'd be a huge mistake. We train all of you, repair the walls, and let's build a shrine to Vulcan. This is probably going to be kind of my staging point for further attacks on Carthage. And it's not what are these guys going to do? They, they they're not going to be able to do anything. And with, now with these kind of these four territories here, I think we're going to end this episode. It's been fairly good actually. Did quite a bit. Fought off rebels on the side of a volcano. Oh, forgot that. Yeah, this is a volcano. So, <laughs> fought rebels on the side of a volcano. Took another city. Sounds sounds like a pretty epic day in the lives of a Roman. Well, thank you for watching. This has been Sleepy Scientist, Episode 2. Hopefully in a very, again, very long series.